how do I deliver a remarkable presentation? You want to do something completely different, something that's never been done before. Um, you know, motion creates emotion. So when you're presenting, I strongly recommend not just standing there. I want you to move around and show a sense of energy as well. And I, I do this a lot. And if anyone that's seen my presentations online or my keynote speeches, even panel discussions, you'll, you'll see I get up a lot. And I think it helps. It helps. Uh, it, it, it makes you much more passionate about your delivery as well. I want you to do different things also. Like I want you to bring props. So for example, if, if you're the head of sales at a company, um, I want you to create something different no one's ever seen before. Like go to wilson.com and like I've done for some of my courses, you create, like this is for my complete personal finance course, create a prop. And in your sales kickoff meeting, you could throw it around in your presentation, right? I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed, right? Um, you, could, you could, you know, pass it around the room. No one will ever, ever, ever forget that presentation, okay? And if you're worried culturally speaking about, about doing that, uh, and, and if it just doesn't seem right, then there's other ways to do it as well. You can bring little props like, like this. Like, you, you know, this is from the Gold Rush from 1849 in California, right? It's a nice prop. And if this is expensive for you, this stuff, right? And a lot of this stuff is really cheap on eBay. What you can do is this. You rent it through eBay. Actually, it's a little bit different. I'll explain what that means. You buy it on eBay. You use it for your presentation. Then you sell it back on eBay. So the net cost is 5 or 10%, whatever the fee is to you know, sell stuff on, on, on eBay, right? So just do something completely different. And also think about your audience a lot. And in my course, the complete presentation and public speaking course, which is 16 hours, I provide you with 25 books that are over hundred pages each on how to give 25 different types of presentations. And what I do at the beginning of all those books, depending on your presentation, is I make you analyze the audience. You know, uh, where are they from? What are their life experiences? And I want you to customize your delivery based on their background, right? So, and I give you a couple of great advan or, uh, examples of that in that course, the complete presentation course, please check it out. Um, I give a couple of great examples which really appeal to emotion. Or what you can do is this, you can search online this day in history. And the day of your speech, you can just find out while you're preparing what happened on this day in history. And you can start off your presentation with an incredibly inspiring quote from somebody that matters that said that quote on that day, right? So uh, I love leading with a quote as well. And I love doing something completely different. Look, if you get a chance, go to my, um, go to my YouTube channel. And at the top there, you'll see a speech I gave um, in Brazil. And I brought a lot of props. I used, used background music. I did something in a way that people have never seen a presentation like that. They might have thought I was crazy, but I don't really care. It's fun for me. Uh, but you want to stand out and be different because it's really, really tough to stand out and be different if you just stand there and give you know, the typical presentation. And if you're nervous as well, don't be. And in my course, the complete presentation course, I give you a ton of tips on how to not be nervous. And I also tell you everything you need to know the day of, the day before, and how to prepare.